And now for today's Bible question. Today we've been learning about the need to plan well for heaven by making good use of the money God has provided for us. We learned that we cannot serve both God and money and that seeking after riches in this world makes us selfish, sinful, and will likely take us into the torments of hell forever. Someone might ask the question, why does God permit people to suffer in hell forever? In today's lesson, we learned about a man who went to hell. There he was suffering in agony and could find no relief. Jesus opens up our view of the afterlife. He wants us to know what is awaiting those who reject God's salvation. He does this to frighten us, to warn us, and to advise us so that we will not go to such a place. God does not want to send anyone to hell. Hell was created for the devil and his followers. God has provided an escape for us if only we will receive the salvation that he offers. This passage in Luke and others in the Gospels tell us something of what hell is like. We learn that it is a place of darkness. It is described as the blackness of darkness. God is light and the source of light, which brings beauty and life to all. But when we reject God, we reject light, and thus we are left with darkness. But even in the darkness, there is still some perception, for the rich man was able to see Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. It must have cut into his heart to see the man he once despised, now enjoying the comfort of heaven while he suffered so greatly. Please remember this point that God is just and he will not let you get away with your sin. If you are stealing money, cheating your friends, workers or customers, mistreating your family, all so you can look out for yourself, then God will remember this in the day of judgment. No one will get away with anything, but all sins will be punished. Hell is not only a place of darkness, but also a place of torment and flame. We cannot imagine anything quite as horrible and painful as being burned by fire, and that is the image our Lord gave to us of what hell is like, so that we will flee from God's wrath. Many people wonder why a loving God would send people to such a horrible place, but we must remember that God never intends to send anyone into hell. He wants all men to be saved and come to a knowledge of the truth. But men love darkness more than light because their deeds are evil. Men choose hell. It is never God's choice for us. It may seem to us to be very harsh, but God's justice is perfect. We all deserve God's righteous judgment because of our sin. But in mercy he sent his Son to rescue us. Jesus suffered greatly so we could be forgiven. So we do not have any right to question God's goodness or justice. He will do what is right, and that means many souls who reject his Son will be cast away forever in a place of utter torment and darkness. I hope this puts the fear of God into your soul, and you will dread the thought of going into hell some day. Do not let the lust for selfish gains in this world draw you away from God's salvation. Most people choose this world for their pleasure and sin, without much thought to life after death. What a foolish choice people make when they let the devil convince them that money riches and fame will make them happy. The human heart can never be fully satisfied in this world. It does not matter how much money a person has or how many possessions they own. Imagine how that rich man must have felt as he suffered in the flames and thought back to the foolish way he lived his life, thinking only about himself and his money. He was probably a Jew, a child of Abraham and visited the synagogue regularly, perhaps even a Pharisee. But it is clear that he loved his money more than he loved God. This proved he was not God's child at all, 
but was only masquerading as a devout religious man. When all the while, when all the while he was a pathetic, selfish sinner, lost and on his way to the flames of hell. Even today his cries ascend from that dark pit of torment. Let me ask you, what do you love most, your money or God? Would you rather attend church on Sunday morning to worship God or to go to work and make money? Where is your heart? For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. What you love will lead you either to heaven or to hell. Are you going to heaven to be with Jesus or into the flames of hell with all your money? Paul spoke of God's desire for all men to be saved when he wrote to Timothy, who desires all men to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 4.